All right, what's going on guys? It's OGCP Da Silva and welcome to some Advanced Warfare here. What you saw in my last video was my very first match or my very first game that I played in the game itself. Now, I'm going to share with you guys some of my thoughts, what I really think about the game itself, okay? So number one, first of all, let's get this out of the way. It is better than Call of Duty Ghosts, okay? That is the one thing out of all on my priority list that was the top thing on my priority list that I wanted it to be better than Call of Duty Ghost so we could check that off of our list right here and this guy's about to get smacked right here watch this this is actually pretty funny BAM so <laughs> he flies I don't know like if there was a loss of gravity right there or something but uh, I guess the force of the exoskeleton punch was like a Falco punch from Super Smash Brothers from Captain Falcon I don't know that was pretty funny anyways yeah this game is fun it is fun but don't get me wrong, it is difficult at the same time. The skill gap is there. The learning curve, not so much, but there is a definite skill gap. It's not as easy to play as some of the other Call of Duties. Actually, I think it's actually one of the most difficult Call of Duties to play. It's something that is definitely going to take us some time to get better at. And with anything, you have to put in time to get better at this game, okay? so. A lot of us easily get frustrated when we're not doing well, you know? That's me too, you know? That's normal. When I was first playing this game, a couple of games into it, even though the first game I was able to get a positive KD, I wasn't able to get a high positive KD that I wanted, you know? A lot of these games, especially with Call of Duty, I want to do really well. I want to get a B score. A lot of us do, and that's natural. But it's not possible in the beginning you know as we learn the mechanics as we play and get better at the game itself as we learn the guns we learn the maps all those great things we will get better trust me we will but initially like the other call of duties we just expect us to just pick it up and play and just be good at it because we played some of the other call of duties we expect this to be no different but let me tell you guys this is a lot different okay especially with this new exosuit right here that we have right this is something new that we've never seen in a call of duty game before we've seen boosting and we've seen these double jumps in other games titanfall you know crisis but in call of duty this is the first time in this franchise that we've ever seen something like that so that's why i keep saying that it's innovative for this franchise but it is a lot of fun i really do enjoy the exosuit a lot i think it's adding that fun factor that I really wanted from this Call of Duty game. And again, that's the one thing out of everything that I wanted the most of in a Call of Duty game, that fun factor. You know, take for example Modern Warfare 2. That game had a lot of crazy things in it. You know, the noob tubes, the quick scoping, there were a lot of things going against it. But at the same time, it was still a lot of fun. Same thing with this game. You know, the skill gap is there, you know, the Exo uh, skeleton, you know, some of the maps or some of the way that people play. The campers, by the way, the campers, that'll never change. There are campers in this game. The camping will never, ever, ever go away. So that's something that will uh, always haunt us, those uh, darn corner campers. But again, even though the game has all these things that we dislike in it, that fun factor is still there, just like in Modern Warfare 2, right? That game is still fun, even though it had a lot of BS in it. So, I'm just asking all of us, for those of us who turn out to, you know, just start blaming other people, start blaming the game right away, even though you've only played it for about a day or two, don't start griping um, or start, um, you know, whining and start getting negative about the game. You know, give it a chance. As anything, if you put the time and effort into something you know you will eventually become good at it you will master it trust me guys you will it just takes a little time okay and honestly I feel the same way you know I was frustrated like I said before I wasn't able to get the KD that I wanted I wasn't able to pull off these insane gameplays that I am um, in some of the other Call of Duty games not that I'm a crazy Mark of J type of player or you know anything like that I'm no pub stomper don't get me wrong but I am able to put up some pretty good numbers and I'm able to hold my own. I, I consider myself a decent player in Call of Duty, but this game is different and it takes a little bit more time and it will definitely take that time and when I put it in, I know for a fact I will become a decent player at this, just like any of the other Call of Duties, okay? Um, the maps are great, 
in here. I don't have any complaints about that. The guns, you know, can be tweaked a little bit, and there are a few things here and there that I'll touch on in perhaps another video that need to be worked out. You know, some patches need to be put into place. But overall, though, overall, I am enjoying this game. And again, like I said before, just put the time and effort into it. Play uh, it consistently and learn the maps, learn the guns and everything and we'll enjoy it as well, okay? It's different, it's definitely different than any Call of Duty that we've ever played before. So uh, yeah, considering all of that, let me know what you guys think of the game if you have it already and what are your opinions, comments, anything like that that you have, leave it in the comment section below. Let me know. And until uh, next time, I guess I'll catch you in my next video. This is OGCP De Silva, and I am signing off.